Hello everybody and welcome to my 7th developer log video. I always feel kind of weird welcoming people to a video. Anyways, in this video I'm going to be talking about 1.3 and some of the changes you can expect to see in 1.4. 1.3 was a big release for fixes, uh, gameplay improvements, and some new systems. Having said that, some of these systems were not the most thought out and have since been improved upon. Cooking was one example where it kind of made sense in my head, but people really struggled with cooking food on the campfire. I have since moved cooking completely over to the crafting menu to function dynamically uh, if you're around a proper cooking source. Treasure hunting is now much more integral to the game plot and goal. However, the same crafting requirements exist for winning the game. Uh, I hope I'm not spoiling anything there. I still consider this system to be a placeholder until the end game is worked on, which most likely will be coming up in maybe 1.5 or later, uh, perhaps even in the beta release. Undoubtedly, the biggest change in the game has been the reintroduction of the procedural map generation. And while it's not perfect yet, it added a lot more replayability to the game. You can expect to see the caves make a reappearance in 1.4, uh, but this time randomly generated as well. I wanted to remove some of the early grind from the game, so I increased the drop rate on all resources uh, as well as I increase the skill gain speed. Uh, I may have to tweak and play with this some more as it's kind of hard to balance, especially uh, in a single player game where these resources can actually affect uh, any economy, but at the same time I don't want to give the player uh, the ability to get everything they need you know, within two seconds. Performance is a large issue going forward. Uh, this has also been a tough thing to deal with uh, given the browser-based uh, limitations. Uh, fortunately, most browsers are now consistent in terms of HTML5 performance. In 1.4, I worked really hard at fixing some issues, uh, removing some expensive drawing functions such as scaling and mirroring uh, for the images of monsters, uh, no longer drawing patterns, and I removed too many iterations uh, for looking up uh, where things are in relation to your view. Opacity and text rendering is still uh, really expensive on the CPU, so I'll need to figure out uh, how to address that as well. I'm also going to try to implement some pre-rendering for the world map and uh, mini-map. I'm proud to say for 1.4 I have improved the performance by at least 50% in most scenarios. Uh, it's still not the most efficient code, but I'll continue to work on this for each release. I talked a little more about the performance in a recent blog post which I have linked in the description. As always, with each new upcoming release, the changelog is being updated on a weekly basis. If you're interested in seeing what's coming up in the next release, make sure to subscribe to receive the updates on the changelog page. I've added that link in the description, and uh, the prompt to subscribe is kind of near the bottom of the page. Also, as always, donators will be given exclusive access to the pre-release for testing and feedback. Uh, this is just, you know, one of the ways I can uh, thank you guys for helping me out. See you in the next video.